Hey, g'day guys, got this higher, what's this called, HRF450B is the name of this fridge and I was looking around on YouTube for a tutorial on how to, how to flip the door so it goes from opening on one side to opening on the other and the bloody monkeys at higher haven't uploaded a single video to help out, maybe they should give me some money for doing this shit. Anyway, so look, if you want to flip it, you should flip the door, you should get some stuff that has come with the fridge which includes an instruction manual and also a bunch of stuff including these like spare hinge pieces for flipping. So in order to get this done I needed a wrench, this is an 8mm, a little attachment here, um, allen key, screwdriver, a knife for getting these bloody blanking plugs off, I've never heard this term in my life blanking plugs but it's like those little flat cover things for where the screws go in and also pliers came in handy for taking off some coverings so the thing you need to know about this first of all the instructions are fairly followable but they did I guess miss a couple of details along with here or should have maybe spelt things out a bit better so you will need to access the bottom of the fridge at some point so just know that you will have to like tip it back 45 degrees uh, they don't recommend to go any further back but you will not be able to do it while it's standing up because you need to access the, the underneath down there um, uh, yeah so when when the door opens just keep in mind that it does poke out at least a couple of centimeters on the side so before you do that just do make sure you have at least a little bit of space there um, if you've already got the fridge sort of set up and you've got food and all that it's it's easier I mean maybe you want to wait till a bit later on before you do this but it's easier if you can get all the food and the shelves out I mean I kind of left it in there part of the way through just so it would stay cool for a little bit longer um, but if you are, wor are worried about shit spoiling then yeah get an esky um, chuck it in there or something like that um, but yeah no it is definitely handy especially later on especially the, the food at the top you know, if you, you want to make sure you get the stuff out of the top the most because that makes it sort of easier to sort of move the, the fridge sort of forwards and lay it down. Um, uh, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, this was weird. So, okay, you see in, in um, instruction number eight there, you've got a screwdriver to remove that top hinge there. Um, my screws, and I'm assuming yours as well, um, just would not come out. I even tried to drill to get them out with the screwdriver attachment It just would not come out because it was in that tight and the reason for that I believe is because those screws Also have like a sort of a, a hex whatever you call that attachment on top. So What someone's probably done is tightened it using this and which can get it much tighter because you've got more leverage hence why when you do try it with a screwdriver it just does not want to come out so just keep in mind for number eight better to use a wrench rather than a screwdriver for that um this is a little bit confusing and i think i did it right it doesn't look like there's any problems but it says here to change the hinge barrel and change the door stop from what i can tell they're kind of like like sort of together and kind of the same thing even though it's separate pieces i don't really know the terminology but those kind of two kind of seem like the same step in a way um yeah so later on you do need to access the bottom of the fridge they don't say you go flatter than 45 degrees i maybe went a little bit flatter than that because i was just working on this by myself that's another thing is it's yeah you Better do it with two people. I just did it by myself, but yeah, better to do it with two people. And so for when I was leaning it back and moving it around, I had this little sort of crash pad just in case anything um, went wrong and sort of propped it up a little bit. I also used some paper because I didn't want to I put the paper like underneath sort of the corners of the fridge because I didn't want like the floor scratching from me moving the fridge around. Uh, duh, duh, duh. The other thing, it seems like they've completely missed out the fact. Okay, so the reason that you need to get underneath the fridge is because you've got this uh, sort of leg thing here, which is also the hinge for the um, freezer door. Um, but then you've also got this leg over here, which they don't even talk about. But, I mean, it seems pretty obvious that you need to flip that over to the other side as well. Um, but it's really difficult to get in. At least it was for me, so... Um, just keep that in mind that they've kind of missed that out talking about that it seems and yeah this one was a little bit odd so when putting in the top big fridge door putting that hinge back in 
Um, it sort of kind of seemed like it was a little bit sort of bent upwards in a way when I was trying to screw it in but if you just keep screwing in further it will eventually sort of flatten out so yeah that's that and from what I can tell yeah it's all flipped all looks fine um, obviously the place to start is by removing the screws up here and taking all this cover of things off just know that you do have some cabling that you've got to sort of switch to the other side um, but you'll see that when you get to it and instructions are pretty fine for that part so um that's pretty much it i mean geez how long have i been have i been at this i think i started at 10 and now it's 1 30 something like that it took me three and a half hours ish um but that's because i had to sort of figure shit out along the way i'm just trying to figure out what the fuck these instructions have failed to tell me. So now uh, look, you guys will probably be able to do it a bit quicker. If you do it with two people, quicker still. So yeah, shouldn't be too much of drama. But uh, anyway, now let, let um, everyone know how you go down in the comments. And um, yeah, good luck.